Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. Uh, today is sort of a special episode as uh, I'm really filming this to thank an, incre an incredible group of people that have uh, really gone above and beyond uh, helping their fellow man. So I wanted to tell you today, I wanted to share it with you. As many of you know, uh, my camera was stolen at, ch at the Treating Yourself Cup, the Champs Show in Toronto. Uh, it was taken right out of the booth. We tried very hard to track the people down that had taken it. Uh, but to no avail, and so I lost the camera. I lost my ability to take awesome macro shots and all these wonderful things. So um, about a day and a half after the news of me losing my camera, um, John Burfello was uh, contacted by a friend of his, Elise. Now Elise works for a company called Aurora, uh, and they are um, a, a cannabis uh, dis uh, license production facility that have been applying for their license and are about to get their license and are, have, a, have a, I guess, a facility somewhere in Alberta. And so she called me up and she was there when the camera was taken and she saw the devastation of both myself and John and how it really, you know, from the education that we were giving and sharing and what we were doing and then to be just our balloon be popped like that, uh, it disturbed her. And so she contacted uh, Terry, the owner of the company, and he's just a great guy. And they basically called me up within 36 hours of losing my camera. And um, between the two of them, they said that uh, I had spoken with them a little bit in regards to potentially shooting their strains uh, with my macro lens for them when they were uh, ready. And so Terry just put the offer out through Elise to purchase me a new camera. Um, without promoting their company in any way, which was really the righteous thing about it. They didn't want me telling people about this. They weren't looking for free publicity. Uh, they weren't looking for me to tell everyone that Aurora is the best company and that we should all be supporting Aurora. They were really just uh, rootsy, conscious, loving people who wanted to share uh, and help a fellow human out who was down and out, who had just been you know, taken advantage of, lost this huge ticket item. And I just want to put a huge thank you out to, to John Burfello, to Elise, to Terry, and to everyone at Aurora. I really appreciate this. Um, the camera has been purchased. It's on its way. I should have it in the next couple of days, early next week. And I just thought it was important to go online and, and share this information. You know, a lot of local people are hating on the licensed producers. They're saying that they're nothing but money-grubbing, uh, greedy corporate entities that have come in to take advantage of the medical marijuana situation here in Canada. And, you know, from what I've seen from meeting this group of people and from the reaction they had to my camera being stolen, and in particular, asking me not to, uh, you know, to say anything uh, before I told them how I would say something about it, which in which case they said was fine. They never asked me to support their company. They never asked me to tell everyone that they were the best and to get behind them. What they did was they got behind me as a community member and they helped me out immensely. So I just wanted to thank you guys, Aurora. It's unbelievable what you've done and I know the YouTube community is gonna be stoked as well because a lot of you guys were crushed as well by me getting my camera stolen. I mean, it just seemed so non-deserving. So I'm sitting out here in beautiful British Columbia surrounded by, you know, great gardener genetics. I got Afghani and Barbara Bud over here. We've got Sweet Skunk, Medi Hayes from John Burfello and the Congolese behind me. I've got my Astro Boy up here. I've got my East Coast Sour Diesel right here. And of course, my little Jamaican Lamb's Bread Hybrid that I brought back from Negril in 1995. So I'm surrounded by beautiful genetics. I'm surrounded by beautiful nature. And you know, thanks to people like uh, Elise and Terry and John and many, many others, um, it's just great to see the community supporting itself like that. And, and to, to be honest, it makes me want to do more for my fellow man. I did a few things today where I called people up that, uh, that I could help and offered the same situation to them. Uh, you know, let me get you this, I want you to have it, and you don't need to promote my company or my bags or my product. It's not about that. It's about helping out when we can. So on that note, I want to thank 
One of my good buddies who uh, comes and sees me in Toronto every year and he brings me a little bit of bubble. Last year he brought me the epic, epic bubble. I photographed it. It was like a 10 out of 10. And this year, you know what? He did not disappoint. I can't remember the strain and I wish I could give you a shout out, bro, but I, of course, out of all these wonderful people I meet, I spaced your name. So please add a comment if you were the guy that gave me this wonderful bubble. I'm about to take a little dab right now in honor of of kind people, in honor of the generosity, you know, and so many people told me that it would come back to me and not worry, it would come back to you, and I did just that. I didn't worry, and it came back to me. Now, I'd like to add that Aurora isn't donating the camera for free. I have worked out a, uh, a deal with them in the, in the past where I would come and photograph their picture, uh, their plants and their strains, so they're pre-purchasing the camera for me for work that I will do when I receive the camera. So to me, that's just awesome. Thanks again, guys. Oh, that was a wonderful dab. Um, today also you probably will notice that I'm wearing my Green Planet shirt. <clears throat> so Green Planet is a local company here in British Columbia. John Burfellow's worked for them with, for years. <clears throat> and I wanted to give them a little shout out as well. A lot of you guys are asking me what my nutrients are that I'm using to grow my resin. And I'm using a one part called Medi One. <coughs> it's uh, sold and distributed by Green Planet. You can check that product out. Uh, it's reminiscent to me from someone who hasn't grown for just over 15 years of earth juice. Uh, I love it. I don't have to add anything to my soil. It's one part. Super easy to, um, to pH and adjust. And uh, it's been growing me some wonderful resin. Really nice, heady, melty resin. Everything I've produced so far has been full melt. And that's with a variety of strains so far. And we'll see uh, <coughs> a variety more strains come through the tent and get washed. I still have the Astro Boy, the Bubba Chem, and the My Little Pony sitting frozen uh, in my freezer. And I'm flowering uh, Astro Boy and My Little Pony again down in my tent. And I'm about to fill the tent up with some Barb, Afghani, Sweet Skunk, Congolese, Hoss, and East Coast Sour Diesel. So keep watching Bubble Man's World for more updates. And uh, yeah. Thank you, Aurora. You guys rock. Peace.